So some of you may be wondering how I've been getting these cat blocks and the cool text and this new variables thing next to the sounds and costumes and in today's video I'll be showing you how to get all of them and there are like a hundred other options you can get that fully optimize your game in scratch and really it just gives you the full editor experience. So if you really want to see how to get these add-ons don't forget to like, subscribe and share and let's get on with the video. So the first thing you need to do for these add-ons is simply go to Google Chrome and search up Scratch add-on. Press enter and the first result should be scratchaddons.com, hopefully nothing else. And here you can just press either install at the top or install for Chrome here. This should take you to the Chrome web store and I removed it just, just for you guys. So please, that deserves a like, so please like the video. And let's just add it to Chrome and add extension. So now you should see once it's finished downloading, it will have a download bar here. One download in progress and I'll meet you guys when it's finished. Okay, so once the download is finished, it should take you to this page, which tells you everything about it. So all you need to do is press this puzzle piece if you're on Chrome and then here it says scratch add-ons and you just need to press the pin button. So the pin button basically just allows you to see all your messages and your games and everything without having to press the puzzle piece. So to start activating some add-ons, you can press this scratch add-ons icon and you can press this settings button here to see every single add-on in scratch add-ons. So all of these are really, really good. Like, oh no, it disabled all of mine. Okay, let's just search for cat blocks and it should come up at the top. You can see cat blocks and you can make them watch the mouse cursor. So if I activate that and go back to my scratch page, I'm just going to reload the page here. And it should be working. If it's not working, please let me know in the comments and I'll help you. You can see the cat is on the block and is looking at me. And you can play with the ears, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to turn that off. But there are lots of actually useful things here. Like for example, non-draggable sprites in the editor. Normally in Scratch, you are able to move the sprites like this by dragging them around. And this disables them because normally it's really annoying when you're trying to play test a game while editing. If you just slowly go through all of them, it takes about 10 minutes to fully optimize. There's even dark mode. You can set them back to Scratch 2.0 or 1.0. It is really useful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please let me know in the comments how this helped you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.